Hi, thank you for speaking with me. How you doing? Hi, how has your quarantine been? Uh, it's been a little weird, you know, I mean, you know, I think uh, for a lot of us musicians and producers, we have a lot of time that we sometimes just spend to ourselves working. So, mm -hmm. you know, being alone and, and not having too many people around for extended period of time, that's not too crazy for us. Right. Uh, but it is, you know, uh, just when you think big picture and how this year is going to factor into the to all the plans that we had, all the plans that God had. You know, I am, you know, sometimes like, what is this year? Like, do we just write it off or right. <laughs> do we act like it didn't happen or whatever? So, uh, you know, it's a daily thing, but you just have mm -hmm. to continue to pursue peace and pursue joy, you know, because yeah. sometimes the, uh, the right. monotony of it will take it away. Now, I know that you've kind of been spending time doing music mm -hmm. a little bit. You you dropped a single. Um how has that been? I mean, do you find this isolation still inspiring for you? Well, I mean, I think you you have all the time in the world and you still have things that, um, you know, honestly, for me, this is not the season that I normally write. You know, this is, you know, we just released a full, you know, EP and visual album, you know, what, in April, uh, the people album so really excited about that so normally this is the time that I'm kind of uh, y'all shift to more like live performances and how I'm going to do it like this and and what kind of other creative things I can do to promote or uh, or just other things that I can do with the platform that I have so normally I'm never writing a whole bunch of music right after I release the album anyway uh, but this year you know we have a lot of other things that we want to do I'm working with other artists um uh, collaborating, I'm producing other people, so it's kept me a lot more creative, and no, nah, it hasn't been any harder, you know, I think, you know, it's still life, and now we just have a lot more time to do it. Mm -hmm. So do you find that, even though we're going through a whole bunch of different things, that, that time that you do have, you're able to, to be beneficial for you, and that you're able to kind of reach this creative outlet that, say, had your schedule been normal, you're now able to really tap into uh, uh, I mean, that would be a good answer, you know, that, you know, if I, right. if I was using all this extra time to just go ahead and be creative, but, you know, honestly, I'm using a lot of this extra time to be human, okay. uh, you know, not to focus so much on the artist side of me, that side always gets plenty of time, plenty of attention, plenty of scheduling, that guy has a manager and an assistant and everything else. The human, however, you know, that's the one that needed some sleep. That's the one that needed some rest. That's the one that needed some, maybe some uh, therapy sessions. <laughs> that's the guy. So I think I'm just giving the extra time and making sure that he's good. He's praying. He's staying where he needs to be so that when all this stuff starts up again, uh, he'll be ready to hit it full force. Is there a particular passage that kind of speaks to you from the Bible? Oh, there's plenty. Uh, you know, Second Peter uh, chapter uh, 1, 3 through 11, God gives us everything we need for a godly life. You got Jeremiah, uh, you know, uh, 28. Uh, uh, oh, why am I so off right now? Oh, uh, <laughs> Lord have mercy. Um, uh, oh, before I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans to prosper and not to harm you. I'm, I'm tripping. It's um, okay. But yeah, I mean, yeah, just so, I mean, there's plenty, you know, there's plenty. Mm -hmm. I think uh, in this particular season, you have to hold on to Romans 8, 28. You got to hold on to all things work together for those that love God and are called according to, to his purpose. So all it is, all this weirdness, all this crazy stuff, pandemic, protests, lockdown, all this stuff, uh, it is working together in whatever weird way uh, for the good of us. And so I'm just really excited about that and holding on to it. That was now, Jeremiah 29, 11, by the way. Ah, yeah. Now, this year's BET Awards is, is a, it's a lot different than the other ones. Um, is there something particular that you're looking excited, you're looking forward to see? Uh, on the BET Awards? Yes. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be dope. I'm looking forward to seeing all of the extra creativity. We had, a, uh, you know, sometimes uh, it's really obviously cool to come together and do it all on one stage, but... Mm -hmm. You know, in this way, we really got to create our own stages, our own environment, our own atmosphere, and create a really nice production uh, to, you know, represent our song. So I'm really excited to see what everybody has to offer, everybody's different take 
on their song. Uh, you know, stay tuned for my performance with Kane Brown and how we mashed our songs together. Uh, we did it just a really amazing production. So I can't wait for y'all to see it. Is there any kind of hint that you can drop? Anything that we can kind of look people, forward to? And, and... People, you said you could heal me from anything. Did you mean to? That's my nice. Name. That's your hint. Yeah. I love it. It is great. Now, also, you've been doing this for a while now, and you kind of got started, got a breakout through radio. Uh, mm -hmm. What keeps you inspired? Man, life life keeps me inspired. You know, just mm -hmm. I'm a very critical person in general, um, so I'm always doing surgery on myself, always looking at what I do and what I don't do mm -hmm. and picking at it and okay. you're trying to make sure that it's as it's, it's best as it could be. Or sometimes I need to relax and I still have to write a song about that. So just all the ups and downs of being a human, uh, there's always plenty to write about. Okay. And lastly, if you could have a versus battle, who would you battle? Oh man, uh, uh, you know, it would have to be somebody in the gospel world. So maybe a Travis Green, a Molly Music, something like that. Okay. Uh, Kiera, somebody, I, you know, all those people I look up to would be really cool to see. Wonderful. Thank you so much for speaking with me. Cool. Thank you. No problem.